Today, let's thoroughly explore the analyzed history period, the period which recommended for your gameplay. We will focus on studying U.S. Mega Millions Lottery. To begin, you will need to open the database, import it first if you have not used it before. Next, ensure that the data is updated through the latest available draw. Click Update if needed. After confirming that, review your selected period under Analyze History Period in the settings and use the Analytics option to perform a detailed analysis, which we will go over together now. Explain, please, how the settings works. Okay, let's examine how the settings function and how you can configure the Analyzed History Period in the Lottery Analyst software. Amazing. <laughs> First, open the settings menu by clicking the corresponding button. You will see a window displaying one of the key parameters, analyzed history. Currently, it shows the value 24, meaning the analysis will consider the last 24 games. The critical question is whether this is the optimal setting for my lottery or if it should be adjusted. Selecting the correct number is very important. Definitely it should be adjusted, but to determine the most appropriate value, a data-driven analysis must be performed first. What is analysis or analytics? Analytics is math analysis to modeling different lottery parameters based on historical results. To perform this analysis, click the analytics button. The program will now perform calculations, simulations, and modeling. Be patient, it analyze the whole history. And for each period for 1 to, for example, 60, it makes the same calculations again and again. Wow, let's see result. As a result of these simulations, the software will immediately provide recommendations. If you prefer to focus on red numbers, the optimal setting is 33 games. If you prefer the blue numbers, the optimal setting value will be 21 games. I see 33 and 21. Explain these values. Yes, once the analysis presents these two recommendations, 33 and 21, you can use it now. Put in settings 33, or if you play blue, put 21. Also, you can validate whether the calculations are accurate. Sometimes it can show strange numbers by clicking the analytics button again. I mean, click second time. The first click performs modeling and simulation. The second click displays graphs based on the simulation results. I believe I can do it. One, two. Okay, let's consider it as the second time. We see new screen with graph. The graph window will show two main curves, a pink curve for red numbers, a light blue curve for blue numbers. If you intend to play using red numbers, focus your analysis on the pink curve. Interpreting the pink curve, the pink curve has two maximums. At the beginning of the curve, and second aligns with a history of about 38 games. Are they the same? I mean, for each lottery? These curves, pink and light blue, are unique to each lottery. If you analyze different lotteries, the optimal periods will vary. They do not correspond to universal statistical models because lottery structures evolve over time. Example, changes in maximum numbers, drawing formats, etc. This evolution makes each set of curves unique to its specific lottery, right? If you notice that the pink curve shows higher winning potential compared to the blue, and it peaks around 38 games, then 38 games would be the optimal historical period for playing red numbers. Correct. Returning to the main menu. Returning to the initial analytic results. The system first recommended a period of 33 games for maximum effectiveness. Why 33 games instead of 38? Upon closer review, two curves are displayed, one pink and one red. The pink curve is based on full historical data. The red curve reflects recent outcomes over the last few dozen games. You'll notice that there was a long gap between wins around the 33 game mark. The distance between the lowest point of the red curve and the pink curve, the delta, is the largest here. Thus, 
For maximum short-term efficiency, 33 games is recommended. Which period should you choose? The decision is yours. If you play regularly and do not skip games, it is recommended to use 38 games. If you plan to play only once or occasionally, then 33 games is recommended. To apply my choice, what should I do? Go to Settings and set the desired Analyze History period accordingly. Can I generate numbers now, or what else do I need? After configuring the period, you can move to the Generator section. The generator will produce recommendations based on the recently selected analysis period, or 38 games if you set it accordingly. Wow, amazing. Thank you so much for so detailed explanations. You are very welcome and good luck.